Hi guys, I'm Howard with Kettering's uh, Bulldogs Robot in 30 Hours. Uh, so I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about our four bar lifting mechanism on this robot. Giving you a voice. Making it loud our own way. Welcome, Welcome to, to the fun. fun. First update is now supported by Kettering University. On average, Kettering students earn $45,000 to $70,000 over the course of their co-op program to help them graduate debt-free. 99% of students qualify for a merit scholarship and you can apply for one of the 80 plus first scholarships worth up to $25,000 each. If you are a U.S. student grades 8 through 12, scan the QR code to stay up to date on info and events happening at Kettering and get a free Kettering t-shirt when you sign up by December 12th, 2021. So for those of you that do not know, um, a four bar is a type of actuator that you can build for robots and they're also used in many different industries uh, for uh, keeping the end effector of a lifting mechanism always parallel to the base. So that's why it's called oftentimes a parallel four bar. And it's also called a four bar because it has one arm right here as linkage, a second arm as the second linkage. Uh, part of this actuator right here is the third linkage and part of the base is the fourth linkage. Therefore there's four bars. Go figure. So uh, we decided to go with this kind of a mechanism, uh, mainly because it was something that we could build very easily with the parts we had on hand. You can build it pretty much out of any pieces of aluminum that you can put pivots in, which makes it very easy for teams to go and build. And it's also very nice, we found out, because after you pick up the game pieces and you start lifting, it's, you can set it up so that way the four bar will lift forwards as well as up, so that way it can lift over the uh, scoring hub a little bit to actually be able to deposit the game pieces onto it more easily. So one thing that we ended up doing uh, with our four bar is we used an encoder on this motor to set it up with what's called closed loop control. So basically that's where you can program it so that way with an individual button press you can have the mechanism automatically go to a position. So instead of the drive team having to worry about trying to keep it level, keeping it at the right height with the joystick or with sending power to it, they just press a button and then forget about it and let the robot take care of the rest. And that's about it. Hi guys, this is Luke back again with the Bulldogs Robot in 30 Hours. And I'm going to be talking about our second type of lift mechanism. So on our second robot chassis here, we kind of went with some lower fidelity prototypes that kind of morphed into the robot, which you'll be seeing in a little bit. First off, for our lift, going off of the topic of the four bar, we didn't quite get an intake onto the end of it, but that's okay. So we had the idea of just doing a simple arm that would kind of sway back into the robot and we'd have the intake on the end so that we'd be within our 18 inch volume. And then we just rotate that out so that our intake would sit on the floor and be able to collect. And then when we want, we could bring the arm up and then just deposit the freight wherever we chose. Thanks to Kettering University for their support of this video. Kettering University is the leader in new programs of expertise, including artificial intelligence, cybersecurity, and automotive engineering design. If you are a U.S. student grades 8 through 12, scan the QR code to stay up to date on info and events happening at Kettering and get a free Kettering t-shirt when you sign up by December 12, 2021. Thank you to Animark, GoBuilda, and Rev Robotics for providing components and giveaways to the Bulldogs Robot in 30 Hours team. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now and check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.